Selfishness has been a topic that really nobody talks about on YouTube since ever. I am trying to become one of these tech creators that actually shows to people what selfish even is and why nobody talks about it. Hi, Casper here, and today I will show you a mobile Linux distro that is actually suitable for daily use. Selfish OS is an operating system for mobile devices, especially Sony Xperia, created by a Finnish company called Joa. It was created by a former Nokia employees, and its goal is to bring Migo back to life. After Nokia started working with Microsoft on the Lumia series, which basically made Nokia die. But what makes Selfish OS different from Android and iOS, the devices I'm recording with, this is actually an iPhone, and other other Linux distros? And what makes it so special? This is how OS looks like. It is very important to most of the people who are going to use it. Selfish OS has a very unique design, I think, called ambiances. They are basically profiles, like an old Nokia feature phones. They change settings, like volume of the ringtone or ringtones themselves. But they are not only profiles, but also themes at the same time. They contain settings like light or dark mode, accent, color, and wallpaper. You can change them easily in quick settings panel, but back to the design. Selfish OS uses ambiances everywhere possible. Every app has a blurred version of the wallpaper as its background, all controls follow the ambience accent color, and the wallpaper in the background has a white or black tint depending on your light dark mode settings. Here's a small showcase of ambiances that are built into the OS. Also, you can create your own ambiances from photos in your gallery. You really cannot use an OS as a daily driver without a nice selection of apps. And that is problem of most mobile Linux distros and other mobile OS except Android and iOS. On Selfish OS, you have some basic collection of apps in the built-in Jolla store. To get all the community created apps, you have to download an app called Storeman, which is a third party app store for Selfish OS, actually an open repos client. If you cannot find an app that you're looking for or it's alternative in Jolla Store or Storeman, then if you have full version of Selfish called Selfish X, you can also install Android apps and use them on Selfish to a compatibility layer called OEM Dolvik. Selfish X costs $49 for our most devices, except um, Gemini PDA, which it costs like $30, $29, something like that. thing that I find very interesting in Selfish OS is the way of navigation around the OS. Everything is based on gestures and most of them work on any place on the screen which makes the OS usable with one hand. Instead of some menu dots, 
you have many hidden in the bar on top of the display that you can use by swiping down on any place on the screen. You can close apps by swiping from right or left edge and go to previous or next screen by just swiping left or right on any place on the screen except edges. Sailfish is officially available as a both free version and Sailfish X with Android app support on Xperia X, Xperia XA2, XA2 Plus, which I have, and XA2 Ultra, Xperia 10, 10 Plus, 10 Mark II, and also on Gemini PDA by Planet Computers. Also, you can get Selfish unofficially on many other devices. Their list is on more projects wiki. Now, something for power users, Linux fans, and Kundu fanboys. Selfish is based on Linux and after turning on developer mode and settings, it allows you to use Terminal. It uses RPM packages and is in majority open source. There are some proprietary components that I hope is not a problem for you. Why nobody talks about it? The answer is pretty simple. Normal tech creators are not interested in alternating mobile operating systems and Selfish has nothing that would make their viewers watch this video. And Linux content creators just don't like Selfish because it's not fully open source, like many Linux distros. So in conclusion, I think that Selfish is the best mobile Linux distro at this moment. And if you have a supported device, you should definitely give it a try. If you liked this video, leave a like and subscribe. And if you have some questions about Selfish OS or anything else, leave a comment and I will try to answer it as well as I can. Goodbye and see you in the next one.